Hi, I'm Paul Torgerson. It's Wednesday, January 2nd, 2019. Happy New Year. And this is a look at the information security news from overnight. From CBR Online, the first data breach of 2019 was reported less than 24 hours into the new year. The details of an estimated 30,000 Australian civil servants were stolen when a directory was downloaded by an unauthorized third party. It is believed they fished the email address of a government employee in the state of Victoria. Staff were told no banking or financial information was disclosed, but that work emails, phone numbers, and job titles were. So basically a Google search. From Becker's Hospital Review, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan alerted roughly 15,000 Medicare Advantage members that their personal information may have been compromised. The potential breach occurred after an employee's laptop was stolen in late October. Members' social security and financial information was not accessible via the laptop, but personal information like name, address, date of birth, medications, diagnoses, provider information, and enrollee identification numbers may have been compromised. From SpielTimes.com, Blank Media Games, developer of online role-playing browser-based game Town of Salem, was hacked that resulted in a massive data breach. Over 7.6 million users' data, including emails, passwords, IP addresses, game activities, and payment information were compromised. All players are advised to change their passwords and unauthorize their payment methods as soon as possible. From SC Magazine, saying it was welcoming 2019 with open arms and a big announcement, the Dark Overlord Hacking Group threatened via a pastebin post to release files that it said were nicked from a law firm that handled September 11th related cases. The hackers followed up with a tweet promising to provide many answers about 9-11 conspiracies through our 18,000 secret documents leak. See the SC Magazine article for all the details and links to the posts. And last today from NPR, a new cybersecurity law has gone into effect in Vietnam. The decree requires companies such as Facebook and Google to open offices in Vietnam, store local user data in country, and hand over that user information if the government asks for it. It would also require social media companies to remove any content authorities deemed offensive or toxic. This sounds very much like the Chinese law we talked about a couple years ago. As of now, companies will have until about the end of the year to comply. More information in the NPR story, including a link to the decree. And that's all for me today. Have a great rest of your day, and until tomorrow, be safe out there.